Isn't it great to be alive? How are you doing? I'm Liam O'Sullivan and welcome to The Head Mechanic, the home of plain speaking positivity. Now then, the last blog I did was about, it's called Simply The Best, and how I personally have no interest in being the best. I have an interest in being the best that I can be, but it caused a bit of confusion and a few people said to me when I wrote the column in the paper, but what are you saying then, that people should just set for what they've got? You know, nobody should strive to do anything. And that is absolutely not what I'm saying. In fact, it's the opposite. So what we're trying to do in this video is to provide some clarity where there was once confusion. But here's the thing, that confusion is often a good thing because you can't be confused about something that you know nothing about. So confusion is a state, if we're learning anything, and we want to learn anything new, confusion is a state that we have to get to to get to understand it. So try, I'll try and make this crystal clear now. I am not saying that you shouldn't try always strive to be the absolute best that you can be. I'm saying the opposite. In fact, the key to achieving success is to stop comparing yourself negatively with others. The only person you're in competition with is the you of yesterday. And this is a battle that you can always win. Now, worrying about others and comparing yourself constantly to others can leave us paralysed with fear. I don't know about you, but I think many of us would have had um, a cousin or a close relation or a kid down the street with whom our parents would, would constantly negatively compare us when they wanted us to behave ourselves. How effective a strategy was that for you? It worked too well for me, I'll tell you. And yet, people persisted. So if you're there saying to yourself, I'll never be as good as so-and-so, well, guess what? You won't be. But what I'm suggesting is that if you change the way you think about yourself, you can liberate yourself. You can create the circumstances where you're free of that fear. The fear that holds you back. The fear that you'll never be as good as so-and-so. Who cares? Be the best that you can be. That will do, won't it? Bob Marley sang, well, I won't sing, Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. And never a truer word was spoken. It's your choice. You get to choose. Now, role models are really important for people, right? But role models should be there for inspiration, not comparison. Because if you can tell me how comparing yourself, or you want to be a soccer player, right? how will comparing yourself to Lionel Messi make you a better footballer? Because you can only ever compare yourself negatively because the guy is, you know, the man, isn't it? If you play golf, you're a middle-aged golfer. Imagine you're a middle-aged professional golfer and some young Young for that, 21 years of age, Rory McIlroy comes up and starts winning majors. How would that make you feel? Well, if you compare yourself, if your feeling of well-being is dependent on where you stand in comparison to others, it will make you feel bad. But if you look at how Rory McIlroy does it, it can make you feel very good about yourself. Because, do you think for one minute that Rory McIlroy and Lionel Messi spend their time worrying about other people? Do you think they spend their time worrying about you? <laughs> I'm sure they don't. So I will tell you exactly now, right now I will tell you exactly how they achieve their thing. They achieve it by working on their own game, by constantly stretching themselves, raising the bar, always working on their own game and just ignoring others. Take Rory McIlroy for example. Only a few months ago people were saying he was a choker because he got to the, you know, he was leading in two major competitions and he collapsed on the last day. Now, look at Lesser things than that have destroyed the careers of many, many sports people. But McElroy didn't, did he? He just kept working on his own game, and within a short time it came good, and now he's like a genius again. So I think, the thing is, all of these people, they don't waste their energy comparing themselves negatively with others. They look at people as role models for inspiration, not for comparison. Because it's only by freeing yourself of that comparison by only concentrating on your game, your abilities, and not just in sports, in life in general. You know, as a parent, as a partner, as a human being, as a friend. You know, don't compare yourself to other people because the only person that you actually have control over is you. So your happiness, look in, not out. If you look in here and improve yourself constantly, you can be happy. And it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what other people are doing. So I think the message of this is stop wasting your time chasing perfection and settle for excellence instead. 
Now that sounds mad, you know, I say I don't want to be the best, but I say I want to be excellent. Because excellence is something that we can all achieve. All achieve. Now, this isn't a new idea. Aristotle, two and a half thousand years ago, said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Now, comparing yourself negatively to others is one surefire way of ensuring that you never achieve that excellence. You can't be excellent if you waste your time worrying about what other people think and what other people say. You can only be excellent when you use all that time to make yourself excellent to improve yourself, to be the best that you can be. And let's face it, if you can look yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and say, today I did the best I could do, today I behaved the best I did, I worked as hard as I could, I was the best friend, partner, husband, whatever I could be. And you've had a successful day, even if that day was, was, was challenging and difficult. As long as you're doing your best, you're working towards that excellence. So. You might be amazed at the effect that this simple shift in thinking can have on you. How just freeing yourself of these shackles of negative comparison with others can make you like, just naturally better at what you do and happier in what you do. Why not give it a try? You might be really glad you did. The choice of, as ever, is yours. I'm Liam O'Sullivan. Thanks for listening. Wrong button. <laughs> but I'll leave that in because I'm not afraid to make a mistake or two.